doing it right here. It's crazy, this is some big food. Oh, he ate it. It's going gone. It's going after another one. You don't want these? These are cool. Well, these need bigger aquariums than I have. There's the little ghost shrimp, four of them. <coughs> and here, a lot of heavy. I do, oh, this will just up quite a bit. Six neon tetras. So now we gotta just let them sit <clears throat> for probably about an hour. I'm gonna let them sit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go into time lapse mode. And that's it. That's, the that's not really too important though. All right, guys. So as you can see now, the tetras are starting to calm down. The shrimp are still going crazy, but. Yeah, there we go for right now. They're all floating on the surface. We're gonna leave it like that for probably 30 minutes and then we're going to release them. It's looking weirdly cloudy right now for some reason. I don't know why. I think it has something to do with this light. Yeah, there we go, it looks better. I am gonna end up getting a background soon. But I don't have one yet. So, yeah, now we're just going to wait about 30 more minutes. All right, guys, so while these guys are getting used to the water temperature, I'm just going to mention a couple of things. We went to two different places, which you saw in the first couple minutes of this video. The first place was PetSmart, where we ended up getting the ghost shrimp. And then the second place was marine warehouse aquarium it was really cool we ended up seeing arowana which you also saw and we also saw some flower horns tons of different cichlids it was a really cool place that's where we got the neon tetras which if you guessed that that was the winter fish the centerpiece fish though is not actually here because we we're going to give these guys time to get home advantage so that if the other fish gets a bit aggressive they've got home field advantage so Second off, if you do not follow my Instagram already, at Official Fishing Freak, you should do so right away because you can get special information on videos, exclusive content, and every once in a while I'll do polls or Q&As like you can see right here. And sometimes I will respond to them. So, <clears throat> if you haven't already, go ahead and do so. Follow that on Instagram. Alright guys, so basically what we are going to be doing is take off the lid to the tank, off the filter, bring that down. We are going to start with the shrimp. I'm going to poke a hole. Remember, I actually you can help me here. Pull that up right real quick because I don't want that sharpie dipping in my Got it. You are going to hold this and catch them. Just cut a corner out. Yeah. In here? Yeah. So I'm just going to poke a little hole. And then I'm going to put it straight through? Yes. 
your stomach. They come out. I see one, two. One, two, three. There one. should be four. I yeah, see the fourth. One in there, yeah. You just pull up, fell out, I think. Yeah. All right. Now same thing. Oh, make sure. Yeah. Got me. Yeah. All right. Let's make sure that there's four. I guess we can't really make sure. I see one over here. Soon. Yeah. I see one. Okay. All right. Now this one's. Yeah. Really yeah. Actually gonna okay. Really careful, because mm -hmm. these guys. These guys we gotta be quick with. We can't be counting because you'll be able to see them. I know. Go back a little bit. Up? No. Just in the back. Oh. Where do you want to go? Go, go, go. They all found each other already. Yeah. They'll turn out in the back and see a shrimp right there. I guess I can go ahead and grab the camera. <laughs> They're all hiding out in the back right now. There's a shrimp and some tetras. Oh, the shrimp's running away. So the shrimp's off for cleaning, and they're also just another thing in there. And then. Maybe the tetras are coming out. Soon. You can see the tetras from this over here. Yeah. Can I see them? There's six of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six. And there's one shrimp right there. That's not a shrimp. <laughs> yeah, it's not a shrimp. Um, there's, I see one back there. The shrimp don't matter as much. They're yeah. in there. It's hard to see. So, we will catch up on this aquarium later tonight when I feed them for the first time. And then I will see you guys whenever we get the next, the centerpiece fish. See you then. All right. 24 hours in. Now the shrimp. And there's one back there. I've successfully made it. Five of the six tetras are right there. Now, where's the last one? Fish have their highest chance of death in an aquarium in the first couple days. So as much as I hate that this fish is floating back there, it would have been pretty hard for me to be a starter with an aquarium and not have a single fish die. Now, if this were to happen to the Gorok, Mmm. You guys just got a spoiler for like three minutes, maybe. Yeah, probably not. So, we're going to retrieve them. And then I'm going to. I don't really know yet.
All right, so as you just heard or read, the tank has been going so well. We've got one shrimp back there, one right there. Let's see, is there anything else that I can find immediately? Uh, I see the bigger one right there. And there's one more hiding somewhere in here. But, as you just saw, the Union Tetra population has basically completely kicked the bucket. There are only two fish left. Now, this is due to what you guys saw earlier. The tank has basically cleared up ammonia. So, that cloudiness was beneficial bacteria, but I guess there just wasn't enough of it, or I put in my fish too early. So, this stuff is what I put in. Put in about half of it. I was only supposed to put in about a third. But the guy who I was talking to said more can't hurt. Can't hurt, not can. Um, so that's just some live nutrifying bacteria. And I also put some dechlorinator in there. I don't know if I was supposed to put that in there at the beginning, but I went ahead and put some in there now. So the remaining two tetras, then we'll find out what happens. I hope you enjoyed this weekend's video. As you heard later from, the, as you read earlier from the subtitles, yes, I'm going to have to make a part four since there's just too much stuff going on. So, last you guys will hear, two tetras have survived. I will see you guys on Friday. Well, it'll be Sunday that you're watching this, but two days ago on Friday, I will take another water sample and get it tested for ammonia. If it's clear, then I will buy more tetras because two is not a sufficient population. They will get depressed and I forgot what it's called. Anxiety, they will get anxiety and will not be able to live out their full lives due to it. And the fish I basically already spoiled. It's the... See you in the next video. Bye-bye.